In those precious early years, the average baby goes through about $4,000 worth of disposable nappies. So it's not surprising that more and more parents are changing to cloth nappies. And supporting these families is a new nappy bank service launched by Pregnancy Help. And here to tell us a whole lot more, welcome National President Diane Thornton and cloth nappy mum Samantha Heitzma. Well done. <laughs> Got it. <laughs> so, good morning, you two. Good the, morning. the stats good that I read are phenomenal. 300 million nappies used a year by Kiwis yes. straight into the landfill. Yes. Got to change yeah. that. Yeah. Yes, so absolutely. tell me about this initiative. How does it work? Well, the pregnancy, the pregnancy Help Nappy Bank is the result of a collaboration with the Nappy Lady between Pregnancy Help and the Nappy Lady. Yeah. It's the latest addition to the services that Pregnancy Help has been providing to New Zealand families for nearly 40 years. I know, it's a long yeah. time. And yes. so what, in terms of, of actually helping people into them, because I would imagine one of the things that puts people off is, well, number one, it's probably it's not as convenient as, as a disposable, but you just need to get to a point in your life where it becomes the new normal, I suppose. But the other thing would be the, the outlay of the cost initially. Yes, and that's one of the things about the Nappy Bank. People who have um, been using modern cloth nappies and are finished with them, donate them to the nappy bank and people who would like to try them can come and borrow some. Brilliant. And when so you say modern cloth nappy, that's the thing. They, they, we've come a long way with the cloth nappy, haven't we? Yes. Yeah, because that was the old that style. That was the old traditional I bet kind. that didn't hold anything in. <laughs> <laughs> but these days... And I these mean, are the modern ones. And they're quite mm. gorgeous. They all come... They, there's so many different colours and yes. patterns and... Everything can match with any outfit, can't they? <laughs> so, so what's in the middle? You've got a whole lot of um, moisture-absorbing stuff, have you? Yes. Yep. You have some absorbent pads which you put into the pocket. Okay. This is called a pocket nappy. Yeah. And these can all be taken out and washed separately. All right. Mm. Samantha, you are a mum of three, yes. and you've used cloth nappies for all three. I've used cloth nappies for all three. How did you How did you get into it? Why did you Why did you decide to do it? Well, um, it was the norm for me. That's what I was going to do. Um, I'm a realist, so I use cloth nappies probably 90% of the time. Yeah. I do a lot of travel for work, so um, unfortunately, hotel services don't like laundering cloth nappies. Right. So. Um, but in terms of the convenience, I have a good friend of mine who helps me while I'm working look after my youngest, who's yeah. one years old, and she said, I wish I knew about these when my children were young because they're so convenient, they're more convenient than disposables because they're always there. Yeah. You know, you just need to throw them in the wash and even in winter, you hang them up in front of the fire, they're, yeah. they're always there. How many do you need for the average child? It depends on how, like if you're using them full time, yeah. you're probably looking at about 12 okay. Okay, or more. And how much would it cost you to buy a, a cloth nappy? Varying in prices, yeah. um, for example, I bought my initial outlay with my eldest, who's yeah. now six years old, so I bought them about seven years ago. I bought them second hand mm -hmm. on Trade Me, and I think I paid $90 for 12 nappies. Okay, so yeah. that was your initial outlay. Yeah. I, I don't know if I've already said it in the interview, but I've certainly been reading about the stats, but I think I did. $4,000 yes. is what you will spend over the course of that child while it's a nappy, so two, yes. two and a half years. Yes. I mean, I know it is a little bit of an outlay initially, but gosh, it pays off in spades, doesn't it? It does. I mean, even if someone, these ones, for example, were $10, I picked these up for $10. Ah. Um, and even if someone's using just two or three a day, yeah. that makes a difference. I it doesn't have to be a, no, a full-time You can thing. gradually maybe just pick yourself up one or two. I think so. And I think that's one of the things about the Pregnancy Help Service, not just the nappies, but we lend bassinets to people for four months, which means that they've got time to save up to buy a cot for the next stage. Yeah. And we lend baby clothes, and when people, their baby have grow, has grown out of the baby clothes, they can bring them back and get another size. What a wonderful service. Mm. service. How can, how can people get in touch with you and, and what's the best thing for them to do to get started? The best thing to look at is to look at our website, yeah. um, www.pregnancyhelp.org.nz and there's links to the Nappy Bank and so on. Fabulous. And we provide information, advice and practical support. And as I said at the top, 300 million of them go into our landfills yes. every year of those disposables. Mm -hmm. So this is a brilliant idea. Thank you both very much for coming in. I just wish I could have my time again because... <laughs> I'd go there. I didn't the first time round, but I certainly so would now. Absolutely, <laughs> they lovely. are. Really lovely. Thank you, girls. Nice to see you. Good luck. Thank you Good stuff. Much. You can find more about information, uh, of more information about Pregnancy Helps Nappy Bank Service at the link on our website. Now, time for some more Beatles magic with I'll Follow the Sun. It's Let It Be.